So we're going to be looking at geological maps today, so we're looking at applied geology. So we're looking at uh, the development of an airfield and a dam site and looking at the geological consequences of building those sites. Uh, and the year group that's going to be doing it is their upper six, so they're doing this for their exams in June. They're going to be divided into two teams. One of them is going to do the airport site and have a look at uh, the geological reasons for developing it as if they're in a company. And the other group are going to look at the dam site and do a similar thing. They're going to then present to each other what uh, the different geological reasons are for, for or not building the dam or airport, expanding it. Uh, and then from there they're going to then go into what's going to be their next map next week on Whitehaven. The first geological map. You've done this section of his map. This is Bristol from 1815. You have done that section last week. This is where it is now. This is the future of mapping, ladies and gentlemen. The cross sections that you've seen on the bottom of all your maps over the numerous weeks, the British Geological Survey have tied those all together and made a 3D model of the whole of the UK. So we have a geological model of the whole of the UK. All right, that's where we're up to now. And that, ladies and gentlemen, as of two weeks ago, is the geological map of the whole of Europe and Britain. Okay, so they've now produced, very effectively, with only the different geological surveys, a geological model of the whole of Northern Europe. Okay, and you can see that we've got on our lovely maps we see on the walls here, we also have this wonderful light and green on our map. And you can see the connections then that it has with northern, the northern Paris basin. You can see that these structures are very big. Okay. So it allows you to see that is the future of mapping now, ladies and gentlemen. That's what the job market that you're going to go into if you do geology at university. So we're going to look at the Bristol and the Hawes map. We have both covered these to much avail. And I'm going to divide you into two teams. Okay? So I have got my Bristol Bobcats who are going to look at my wonderful airport and our horse harriers are going to look at the dam site okay there's very specific instructions which I'm going to set you in a minute but first we'll see where those sites are you're right Chris okay so first we have our Bristol site, and then we're going to go and have a look afterwards at our Hawes site, okay? So we're going to look, do this actually as an interactive presentation, all right? And you are going to present to the other group. It's called a marketplace activity. You are going to present reasons why you should or shouldn't be built to the other group, and they're going to make notes from you. So it's a flipping the little bit of learning over. Okay? So, some very key instructions that they must be followed. Okay? You are working for my company, Rock Dock International. Okay? Therefore, you're my employees, and I want each individual team to, and I'm answerable to the client, in this case, Bristol Airport or the dam construction company. Okay? You. I have 10 minutes, using the notes that you've provided in class over the last few weeks, to look at evaluating that site. You've looked at why it should or shouldn't be built. We're looking for geological reasons, okay? If we're looking at the airport, I'm not looking for why birds suddenly fly into planes. I'm looking for geological reasons, okay? Same with the dam site, geological reasons why it should or shouldn't be built, okay? So you have 10 minutes. To complete that, advantages, disadvantages, and I want conclusion from the group as a whole as to whether you agree whether it should or shouldn't be expanded or built. <laughs> 